So the samples in this lab represent one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, and that's sending humans to the moon. And we owe it to the generation that sent humans to the moon, as well as future generations that are gonna look at these samples to keep them as pristine as we can. So we have processed a large number of samples in, in this uh, facility. The uh, six Apollo missions collectively brought back about 2,000 samples, individual samples, but um, if we count all of the times that those samples have been split in, into uh, subsamples, we now have well over 150,000 to keep track of in our database. And, and we do keep track of every single one of them. What we are doing now is actually upgrading the cabinets. So we've got new gloves. Um, we've also changed out the glove ports themselves. And we've also uh, integrated the cabinet uh, with IT technology. New digital balance. We have a digital microscope as well. And all of these are integrated into uh, our laptop and they give us the option of doing uh, telecoms now with our principal investigators. A couple of years ago, we got a, a 3D scanner, a laser 3D scanner. And we are able to use that in order to create three-dimensional models of our samples. With a laser 3D scan, it, it's an extremely accurate measurement, and so we can now get very uh, accurate readings, and we can also use uh, these 3D scans in order to create models of, of the samples and make 3D printed replicas of the samples. We are not just taking care of the samples for what we can do right now, we're also holding on to the samples for the techniques that we're gonna have in the future, and the types of analyses that are gonna be done in the future, and those analyses inevitably are gonna require smaller and smaller amounts of sample and lower and lower detection limits. And so we must protect the samples against contamination to the lowest degree possible.